So for um, number 58, we want to find the volume uh, of a solid whose base follows this parabola, y is equal to 1 minus x squared. And then the cross sections um, perpendicular to the y-axis are squares. So let's draw these cross sections. Um, so it would be squares that go like this and then are like so. So these segments would be perpendicular to the y-axis. Um, and they get smaller and smaller as we as we go up, right? So let's think about how we are going to be um, integrating this. Basically, we're summing up all these squares, right? And then we're summing them up across the y-axis. We're going from zero all the way up to y is equal to one, where um, that parabola here has max height. So our integral is going to be the integral from zero to one of a y dy, where um, we're integrating the area of each of these squares all the way up um, from 0 to 1 across the y-axis. Um, now, the area is just um, the base squared, right? And let's think about what the, the base is. So, the base, and as we can see here, uh, let me do it in a different color, the base is pretty much twice the height of that function, right? And the height of the function is 1 minus x squared. Um, and we can see here that the it's basically just twice that. Um, but now we're taking this function across the y, uh, the from the perspective of the y-axis, right? We're not really looking at it as a parabola because if we were looking at it as a parabola, we would be going from here all the way up because that's the shape of the parabola. It's on the y-axis. It goes like this. So um, in this case. What we're really doing is we are we first have to express this in terms of um, as a function of y and then take the the height of this. So what we have here, let's express it. We have um, y is equal to one minus x squared. Therefore, x squared is equal to minus y plus one. So x is equal to the square root of minus y plus one. And we're only taking the positive root. Because basically, the, po the positive root is going to go from here all the way out there. That's going to be our positive root. So we can see that the base of our square is twice the height of that root, right? Because it goes half here and then half there. Same thing here. If we were to take this other square, it goes half up and then half to the negative root. So we can say that the, the base is twice the height of this function. Therefore, this is... Um, 2 root of minus y plus 1. So if the area here is the base squared, therefore the area is going to be 2 root of minus y plus 1 squared, which is going to be equal to 4 times um, minus y plus 1. So that's our area. So we're ready to, um, we are ready to integrate this. This goes, it's the integral from 0 to 1, and the 4, I'm going to put that outside, um, and this is going to be minus y plus 1 times dy. So when we integrate it, we get, so let's see, um, y squared, that's going to be minus 4y squared over 2 plus y um, from 0 to 1, which is, oops, plus 4y, because that 4 also, uh, it also multiplies, should, should have been plus 4y. Yeah, let me redo this so that it looks a little bit better. 4, I'm going to put that outside, so minus y squared over 2 plus y, which is equal to 4 times, let's see, this is minus 1 half plus 1, minus 1 half plus 1, and then minus 0, so we don't count that, which is equal to uh, 2, yeah. And so this is the volume as we, um, we take these squares whose base is, is twice the height of this curve here in blue. And then um, that base will create a square. And basically, we're summing up these squares from 0 all the way out to y is equal to 1.